for a shoulder and elbow surgeon like myself, one of the most common things I see in my practice is fractures in or around the elbow. Um, fractures around the elbow can involve the distal humerus, which is the arm bone, or they can involve also the olecranon, which is this bone right here, or the radius bone. So there's multiple different bones in the elbow that can break. Elbow fractures can be caused by a trauma, a fall, could be a high energy injury like a car accident or just a ground level fall. If the fracture has good alignment, then we will treat it with without surgery, cast or a brace in physical therapy. If a fracture is displaced, meaning the bones are shifted out of place, or there's too many fragments, then we will consider surgery. When it comes to surgery, there are several treatment options. A lot of times, we will try to preserve the patient's own anatomy. So, for instance, with modern advancements in plating technology, we use locking plates to fix bones. So, for example, if someone has a distal humerus fracture, which is a fracture of this lower arm bone right here, we will fixate it with a metal plate and screws. So you can see, and these are actual plates that can be used on a patient. The plates sit up against the bone and they hold the bone into place. So we apply the plates to the bone and we put screws into the bone. So this is for the distal humerus. And now if we're talking about the olecranon or the elbow tip bone, this bone right here, this also has a custom plate that we use. So we have multiple different plate options that are designed to fit the bone. Also the same thing with the radius bone. Surgical treatment may involve fixing the fracture with a plate and screws. In more extreme cases where the bone is completely shattered or in an elderly patient where they have really bad osteoporosis and we cannot reconstruct the bone, sometimes we have to consider replacement surgery. We put an artificial elbow into the patient's arm. So you can see this is an implant, it's a total elbow, and the total elbow goes into the arm bone up here and goes into the ulna bone, and this is what it looks like. So it functions the same as a normal elbow, but is an artificial elbow made up of metal and plastic. It goes in like this. So again, the goal always is to replicate the patient's anatomy, keep the patients active. Um, if we can accomplish that without surgery, that's our preference, but surgical treatment options for elbow fractures may involve a plate and screws, or may involve replacement surgery, depending on how bad the fracture is. Recovery for elbow fracture surgery, whether it's plate and screws or an elbow replacement, is, re is very similar. Patients are typically in a cast or a splint for a couple of weeks and then we transition to a brace and then we start physical therapy. We wait about two months before we let them start weight bearing and strengthening. The difference between the total elbow and saving somebody's own elbow is that total elbow replacements unfortunately have to have permanent restrictions. So if one has a total elbow, we don't allow those patients to lift more than five pounds with that arm for the rest of their life because we worry about the implant wearing out prematurely. That's why we always try to save the patient's own elbow. And I tell patients, typical recovery time, six months. And there's a lot of physical therapy needed to get it back to being normal. Sure. To regain function, to relieve pain, and to get back to reasonably normal use.